Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today I will talk about a very conceptual topic, and there there are a lot of MCQs that are coming from this topic, and that are and actually very confusing. So universal donor <coughs> of RBC that is O negative, universal recipient of RBC that is AB positive, universal donor of plasma that is AB positive, and universal recipient of plasma that is O negative. And if the question asks what is the universal donor of uh, the blood? Uh, that is uh, O negative and the universal recipient of blood that is AB positive but here we have divided divided it, uh, it into plasma and um, RBC now what is the concept behind that if you do not know concept behind this then you cannot pick this this is not to retalize and they can change the stem so uh, uh, it's very necessary to, to, to know about the concept so in order to know the concept you have to watch this video so the concept behind that is we know that the blood transfusion reaction is type 2 hypersensitivity reaction that is antigen antibody reaction so and we know that in the blood transfusion we are having two things the donor blood and the recipient blood <coughs> and the donor blood we have to look for the antigens because we are introducing the blood we are introducing the antigen in the recipient blood we are we have to look for the antibodies so if there is a match if the antigen and antibody matches there will be transfusion reaction if the antigen and antibodies there is no match there will be no reaction so i am going into the detail so that you can get the concept we know that the a group is called a group because it has got a antigen b has got b antigen o has got this is actually zero it has got no antigen that's why it is called o and o, o blood group it has got no antigen and ab has got both the antigens a antigens and b antigen and whatever the blood has got antigen it has got no antibody respective to that antigen for example a has got no antibodies against a b has got no antibodies against b it has got no antigen it has got antibodies against both a and b and ab has got both antigens so it has got no antibody at all so the concept is if 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 a patient is having a antigen he is having no anti a antibodies so if a person is having antigen he is having no antibodies against that antigen so a has got antibodies against b because it has got no b antigen b has got antibodies against a o has got antibodies against both a and b because it has got no antigen ab has got no antibodies at all no antibodies at all so a has got a antigen but it has got b antibodies and a has got similar can transfuse blood to the similar so a can transfuse to the a can a transfuse to the b no why because b has got b antigen it has got no b antibodies but it has got antibodies against a there will be transfusion reaction a can transfuse to the ab because it has got both the anti antigen a antigen and b antigen so it has got no a antibody no b antibody and a has got a antigen so there will be no antigen antibody reaction because there is no antibody over here can a transfuse to the to the o a has got a antigen but O has got no antigen so if it has got no antigen it has got antibodies against both A and B so there will be transfusion reaction A to A simple now coming towards the B blood group can B donate to A we, we will be looking to the antigen of donor blood now the donor blood has got antigen B now in the recipient blood we have we have to look for the antibodies against B now the A has got A antigen and we already studied uh, uh, if it has got A antigen so it will be having no antibodies against the respective antigen so it has got no antibody against A but it has got antibodies against B so there will be transfusion reaction B has got B antigen and this B has also got B antigen but it has got no antibodies against B so if B has got no antibodies against B and B has got antigen against B so there will be no transfusion reaction B to AB again looking towards the antigen in the B blood group the antigen is in the donor blood you have got to look for the antigen the antigen is B in the recipient blood you have to look for the antibodies the AB antigen the AB blood group has got both antigen A antigen and B antigen but it has got no antibodies against A it has got no antibodies against B so B can be transfused easily can B transfused, trans, transfused to O B has got B antigen O has got both A antibodies and B antibodies so if it has got B antibodies the B antibodies will be reacting toward the B antigen so there will be transfusion reaction now coming toward the AB blood group AB blood group is called AB because it has got both antigen A antigen and B antigen but it has got no antibodies so we will be looking for the antigen only so the AB antigen and this is the recipient blood we will be looking for the antibodies 
so the ab has got antigen a and b antigen the recipient has got what we are looking for antibodies over here the a blood group has got no a antibodies because it has got a antigen but it has got b antibodies because there is no b antigen so if there is b antibodies and you are introducing that so the, the b antibodies will be cross reacting towards ab there is no there will be transfusion reaction transfusion reaction now coming towards the ab towards b the ab has got both the antigen a antigen b antigen in donor blood we have to look for the antigen in recipient blood we have to look for the antibodies so b is matching but the a is not matching there is antibodies in the b blood group against a so there will be transfusion reaction ab ab similar can transfuse to, towards the similar and toward uh, and and oh what happens in the, in the ab antigen in the ab blood group there are both antigen a antigen and b antigen but in the o blood group there are antibodies against both a and b so there will be massive transfusion reaction in case of ab towards o so coming towards the o blood group the o is called o because it is zero it has got no antigen it has got no antigen in the donor blood we are looking only the antigen in the recipient blood we are looking to to the antibodies we are looking towards the antibodies so the a blood group it if it has got no antigen there will be no antigen antibody reaction at all if it has got no antigen there will be no antigen antibody reaction at all so it can be done that is why it is called universal donor now coming towards the positive and negative blood now this is simple rule for the positive blood and the negative blood now what is mean by positive blood positive blood o positive or a positive positive mean there is rh antigen on the rbc there is an extra antigen that is called rh antigen so positive blood mean there is an uh, rh antigen negative blood mean there is no rh antigen there is no rh antigen and what was the rule if if a blood is having antigen it has got no antibodies toward that antigen so if it if it has got rh antigen it has got no antibodies against the rh antigen that was the rule if it has got no rh antigen there will be antibodies whatever antigen the blood possesses there is no antibodies again towards uh, that antigen and whatever no antigen is there there is antibody toward the absent antigen now coming toward there the donor blood we have to look for the antigen negative blood has got no antigen if the negative blood has got no antigen it can be transfused to, to all of them it can be transfused to all of them that is why o blood group was universal donor now but that is o negative or o positive that is o negative because for the universal donor the criteria is there will be no antigen so o blood group has got no antigen no a antigen no b antigen but the negative blood group if you introduce negative to the o group it means there is no even rh antigen so o negative mean there is no antigen at all if there is no antigen at all is there any possibility of antigen antibody reaction no so o negative is the universal donor negative can be transfused to negative simple no reaction negative can be transfused to positive because antigen there is no antigen so there will be no reaction now problem is in, in the positive if you are transfusing positive to the negative if you are transfusing positive to the negative positive has got antigen positive has got antigen negative has got no antigen but it has got antibodies and in the recipient we are looking towards the antibodies so there is a match positive antigen and in the negative there are antibodies so there is a match so there is transfusion reaction and positive towards the positive positive has got antigen so it has got no antibodies and recipient has got so it has got no so it has got antigen positive is called positive because it has got antigen but in recipient there is no antibodies so if there is no antibody there is no match if there is no match there will be no transfusion reaction at all so universal donor is o negative universal donor is o negative and universal recipient is ab positive for the criteria for the universal recipient there will be no antibodies for the criteria of uh, universal donor you are donating something if you are donating something we know that in donation we look for antigen so you have you are not supposed to take any antigen if you are not supposed to take antigen you the only group that is having no antigen that is o negative universal recipient criteria for that is you are looking for the antibodies in the recipient we always look for the antibodies so criteria for that is that which group has got no no antibodies of course the group which has got all the antigen that is ab positive the ab positive is the only group which has got no antibodies so this is universal recipient now coming toward the actual mcq that was the universal donor of rbc is now for the 
universality the criteria was it, there must be no antigen o negative it has got no antigen the o has got no antigen and the negative has got no antigen for the donor we must have no antigen we must have no antigen so o negative is the universal donor for the recipient universal recipient of rbc we are talking about only rbc universal recipient of rbc now we need a blood group which has got no antibodies we need a blood which has got no antibodies so that is the only ab ab positive it has got all the antigen but it has got no antibodies the donor of plasma now we forget about the rbc now we are talking about the plasma now we are donating the plasma blood has got two portion the rbc and the plasma the cellular portion and the plasma portion now forget about the rbc portion we are talking about the plasma portion now what happens here the concept is a little bit changed now you are introducing the plasma you are introducing the actually the antibodies the a antibodies and the b antibodies and those antibodies actually act as an antigen to the other blood group a little deep concept donor plasma in the donor plasma you for the donor there will be no antigen there will be no antigen and we are talking about the plasma in the plasma we are having antibodies antibody a antibody b but these antibodies antibody a antibody b act as antigen for the recipient act as an antigen so we need a blood which has got no antibodies a and which has got no antibodies b and which has got no uh, anti rh negative anti rh antibodies so the ab positive blood group is the only blood whose plasma is free of all these things we are talking about the plasma the ab positive is called ab positive because rbc has got a antigen b antigen and the positive antigen but if we take the plasma of it it is free from any antibodies if there are no antibodies in the ab positive blood group and those antibodies act as an antigen so the for criteria for the universality was there was there should be no antigen there should be no antigen so if the a b and r h antigen act as a uh, antibody act as a antigen for the recipient and if there are no a antibody b antibody and uh, positive uh, and the r h antibody so it means the plasma portion is free of any protein the plasma portion is free of all these things so if you introduce there will be no antigen antibody reaction now the problem is here in the recipient plasma universal recipient of plasma now the o negative is the only blood which can receive the plasma of all the things because we need the we need in this case we need such blood group which has got no antigen because if we are introducing the blood group a if we are introducing the blood group a so that has got uh, antibodies against b but it has got no antigen b so we can uh, give the a the, the a plasma now we can give the b plasma now we can give the ab plasma because there is no antigen on it and uh, so uh, and the other easy thing to uh, rationalize this is uh, for donor rbc and recipient rbc we discussed that for the donor plasma and recipient plasma you you just reverse that order you just reverse that order